pretty fast, but not fast enough. Oh no! Carol! No, 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 no! Whoa, what happened here? Where were you? I told you to stay put! I've been put for weeks! I'm not a house cat! Carol, there have been attacks all over! I needed you to watch the house! Sheesh, I'm not your watchdog either. Watchdog? Oh, please. You go out, like, all the time. What, like you don't? Besides, what did you expect me to do? Hey, Mr. 400-ton robot, you'd better not crash into our house at Mach 5 or me and my motorcycle will really show you what's what. That's not the... <sighs> I just... Never mind. I don't want to fight about this. Hey, come on, don't be like that. We can fix this, no sweat. I know, it's just... These attacks are really getting out of control. I'm running myself ragged chasing after them all. Pshaw, those things don't stand a chance against world-saving pros like us. Yeah, I guess, but this'll take weeks to fix. Months, even. Hmm, well, why don't we just stay at Mila's for now? She runs a lab, not a bed and breakfast. But still, maybe she'd know what to do. Nice to see you, too. Yeah, sorry it's on such late notice, but could we crash at your place tonight? Our house was destroyed by this giant robot, and we need a place to stay while we fix up I the- I brought snacks! Please, come right in. Mi laboratorio es su laboratorio. Uh, say what? Oh, uh, never mind. Just don't touch anything that's glowing, or moving, or growling, okay? What are you doing here? Did your tree hose get wrecked too? This isn't about that explosion last week, right? It was an accident, I swear! I was just trying a new chemical compound that would change the color of my clothes! No. Oh, okay. But now that you've mentioned it, I'll have you file a little report once we return to Shang 2. Oh, okay. We return? Don't tell me. The Magister has summoned you all for an audience. <sighs> I said don't tell me. The Magister wants to see us? But why? We're safer discussing this at the palace. Come. Well, what if we don't wanna? You did kind of crash our unscripted sleepover. It would be unwise of you to refuse. Right, we're going. Milo, what are you doing? Hey, you heard the lady. Watch the oh, oh, hold on a sec. Make that two reports. You will travel to Shang Tu Palace and meet with the Magister immediately. You will act with proper reverence. I will not tolerate any flippancy. No worries, Lady Nira. Hey, can you all hear me through this thing? Or 20, good buddy. That's not right? <laughs> Appreciate your attendance on such short notice. Why have you brought us here, O oh, Exalted One? I am sure you are aware of the rise in creature attacks throughout Avalus. Our intelligence suggests that this is not a coincidence. However, their connection remains a mystery. We need capable fighters to counter the attacks and discover their origin. Assist us, and you will be graciously rewarded. Well, 
kind of reward we talking about here? Wads of cash? A statue of yours truly? <gasps> a solid gold motorbike? Um, I think the motor would melt a solid gold bike. Wow. Way to crush my hopes and dreams into dust, Mila. Any gems you find on a mission are yours to keep. In addition, you may use the palace grounds as your base of operations. What? That's not a reward. That's just picking up loose change. That's cleanup duty. Carol, we need a place to stay. And we can't just freeload off Mila. Besides, the money could help us rebuild our home. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to find the robot that trashed our house and kick its big, shiny metal butt. I'd like to help, but, um, my laboratory... Our soldiers can transport all your equipment here easily. Oh, that'd be great! Just make sure they're wearing safety equipment. Have we reached an agreement? Ladies? Magister, we accept your offer. You render your world a great service. I thought I smelled water, dragon. Hey, I've seen you around before. Aren't you an earth dragon? Not quite. Why don't you go make yourself useful? attack on the museum the culprit stole pangu pangu contains an extensive database of our history and culture much of its knowledge has yet to be deciphered it must be recovered at all costs situation needs a more delicate touch. This is for trashing our house, you jerk! Hey, you've got some explaining to do, mister! Who are you? Why did you destroy my home? Ah! You broke my buddy! My friend! How could you? We were just having fun! That's what we felt like when you broke our house. Doesn't feel so good, does it? Do you even know how long it took to fix the microsensor bracket? I installed a high-fidelity amplifier so I could eliminate all the IR interference and use it right from the control pad! And it had a flush mount, and a high-data IR encoder, and a microsensor audio and wide-angle reception, and a bicolor light, too! And I could even use it in the sun, because usually IR interference is unbearable! <sighs> what just happened? Lilac here! Mission accomplished. The culprit is... incapacitated. You fool! What are you still doing there? The thieves are getting away in their airship! What?! I only found that out, like, right now! Enough! Head to the seaport immediately! Move out! <laughs> dummy, 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 dummy! You fell for it! Hey! Get back here! Pengu! Looks like she's been deactivated. Whoa there! Throttle back, tiger. Hey you! What do you think you're doing with our robot? Let me bring you up to speed. The name's Coruscant, captain of the Sigwada and mercenary extraordinaire. In the flesh. That pengu of yours is a real sweet piece of hardware. You stole it from Perusa. We're here to steal it back. I don't know what you're talking about, but there's no way you're keeping her after what you've done. I figured you'd say that. Then it's time to kick the tires and light the fires! <laughs> Pretty impressive. I actually got a little beat it up. The mastermind, I presume. Doesn't she look familiar? Hey guys, kept you waiting. Huh? What the heck, Cory? Carol? Is that you? Well, ain't this a Charlie Foxtrot of a situation. Sorry, sis. Another time. Cory! After her! A decoy. Clever. I must reluctantly agree. For a wildcat. But look! Pango's back! Yay! 
I guess that's something to celebrate. Carol, was that... was that your sister? Yeah, honestly, I'm totally weirded out right now, so... Sister or not, this was an attempted robbery of a major historical artifact on Shengtuzian soil. Airspace. Both. The Magister will hear of this. The ports have been ghosted, milady. Excellent. And the Pangu drone? Too much downtown action. We had to jink out of there pronto. Unfortunate. Remember, feline, I cannot guarantee the safety of you or your family unless you have properly fulfilled your duties. Yes, milady. The drone will be ours, eventually. It is only a matter of time. Yay! She's awake! Scanning location. Good evening, sir. Hey, the museum got trashed, so this place is your new home for now. Location set as home. Now turn into a dragon! Invalid command. Sorry, kid. Her dragon mode had to go. Didn't want to scare the museum staff in case someone accidentally messed with it. Boom. Lame. I'm totally okay with that. I'd hate to fight that thing again. Though, I kind of miss writing it. I've informed the Magister of today's events. That woman is now on the official terror watch list for all of Shang 2. That's probably for the best? For the best? That's my sister we're talking about! The watch list is designed with the safety of Shang 2 and its citizens in mind. Your frankly nebulous familial ties don't even come into it. <sighs> Whatever. Have you seen Carol? Yeah! She said she was going to Shang Mu to buy ice cream for everyone! Isn't she the best? Uh-huh. Sure. Let's just check on her super quick. Uh, Carol? Why are you going to Shang Mu? Battlesphere, gonna fight, gonna get me some grand prizes! Whoa, whoa, what now? What about, you know, our missions from the Magister? Can't talk, robot smashy time! <sighs> Nira's gonna kill us. Do you hate Mondays like we do? Then come on down to the Battlesphere for Mayhem Monday! Face down the awesome power of our BattleBot Brigade! And don't forget about our knuckle-busting Battle Royale! Where fighters from all around the globe do get out for a chance to win the grand prize! Are you a bad enough dude to survive the Battle Sphere? If you are, you'll face me, Captain Kalau! Must be 13 years older to apply. The Battlesphere is not responsible for death, dismemberment, injuries, or hair loss of any kind. This advertisement is brought to you by Mayor Zhao and Zhao Entertainment Corporation. Grand prizes are subject to change at the discretion of Mayor Zhao at any time and are non-negotiable. All entrance fees are non-refundable. It's her now! Is she out of her feline mind? I wouldn't underestimate Carol the Wildcat! Oh, do you think that would be her stage name? That would be so cool! Go after her if you wish. I have better things to do. Wait, didn't you say you were looking for more fighters? A solid idea, but Gong and I had already considered it. The champion had no interest in our battles. Something about the Red Wing of Justice will not be drafted into military service. <clears throat> that was very good. Thank you. But you do want his help, right? So what if we go to the Battle Sphere and win? Then he'll have to reconsider. Hmm. It'll be fun! I'm going to enter as... Aleem, the mask and Murata with a mysterious past. I would like to know if the robots in there are related to the ones we've been fighting. I suppose this is worth our attention. That's the spirit! While this was an unexpected deviation, this diversion gives us an opportunity to confirm our neighbor's strength. We are all in this together, after all. Have fun storming the battle sphere! <laughs> Uh, it takes me back. Carol, wait up! Lilac, um, hi, how's it going? What were you thinking? You shouldn't have run off without us. I don't need a babysitter, okay? I can handle myself. That's not the point and not at all what I meant. We want a battle sphere too! Mila? If we're gonna fight in the battle sphere, then we're gonna do it together, as a team. Awesome! Looks like the old Carol charm is finally rubbing off on you guys. 
Even you, scary lady. Don't flatter yourself. I'm here to recruit the champion to our cause. And to help you. You are clearly doomed to fail without our support. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence. Our next contestant is a water dragon. Now there's something you don't see every day. Booyah, piece of cake. Child's play. So what now? Whoa, looks like somebody didn't get the memo. Only the last fighter standing can ultimately face the champion of the battle sphere. Oh, right. Does that mean what I think it means? Because if it does, I don't like what it means. All right, here's the plan. You guys take the fall, and I'll take on the champ. No, you have done well to come this far, but facing the champion is my responsibility. What? You don't think I can handle this? Guess we're going to have to settle this the hard way, huh? Oh, I've been waiting a long time for this! That was awesome! Let's do it again! I'm okay. Don't worry about me. You did great! Do not foul this up. Ladies and gentlemen, the self-proclaimed defender of the defenseless, the Red Wing of Justice, our very own champion of the Battle Sphere, Captain Kalau! Captain Kalau, I presume? You're a hard person to get a hold of, you know that? You have fought well, citizen. I, Captain Kalau, acknowledge your fortune. I am honored, Captain, and would like to extend to you an invitation. Shang Tsu is besieged by war machines and needs stalwart heroes to defend it. Please, in the name of justice, help us protect our city. <laughs> is that so? Very well. I will make time to listen to your intriguing offer. But first, I dare you to face one final challenge. That's right, folks! The champion himself will decide what a contestant's final challenge will be! This calls for a race! Really? You do know who I am, right? <laughs> I assure you, citizen, you'll need more than a nice pair of boots to keep up with me. I don't believe what I'm seeing, folks! Our newcomer has beaten Captain Kalau's challenge! Uh, I have tasted defeat! Victory is yours! Okay, so now that you're done being overdramatic, can we please have a serious talk about you helping us? We could use your help protecting our kingdoms. Very well. My people will review your request and pertinent details, but first... I would tend to some unresolved matters. I will message you once I'm done. You have my word. Thank you for your time, sir. Here to present the grand prize for the Battle Royale is the honorable, handsome, and highly humble leader of our fair city, our very own Mayor Zhao! Thank you, everyone! Thank you! present the grand prize everyone stand back this is going to be good your reward is coupons for you and five of your friends to dine at city hall in glorious downtown shang mu what thank you mayor zhao <laughs> What an honor! I suppose I could use a free hot meal. Hot meal? It's funny because you... I know. Hilarious. Glorious! Thank you all for competing! See you next time! No refund, seriously. You were right about those fighters. Shang Tu breeds them tough, I'll grant them that. But they're nothing that the captain can't handle at full strength. Good. But I have no intention of underestimating them. Nothing can be left to chance. Not this time. That was so awesome! Except for 
to the part where we didn't win anything. That was stupid. Look on the bright side. We got the captain's attention. And we can eat at Mayor Zell's mansion whenever we want. Yeah, I guess. King Dale of Shuigong is asking for our help. Apparently, they need to track down a thief that's been stealing weapons. Shuigong has become a close ally. It would be our honor to assist them in their time of need. Good evening, King Dale. The sun hasn't even set yet. Seems like these infernal devices are useful after all. So, he sent you, did he? Very well. We need you to track down a thief. A large portion of our weapons and steel reserves have mysteriously vanished. And no, I am not imagining things. Steel, huh? Not profitable enough for the Red Scarves. My brother wouldn't steal from me. i bust him up good. Anyway, we believe the supplies were taken north, but I don't want to send my soldiers out there until we know who or what we're dealing with. You can count on me, Your Majesty. I'll get to the bottom of this. Pascal? I didn't know you were tagging along. Magister sent me. Well, my nose anyway. Thought you could use a bloodhound on your team. Detective Mila is on the case too! Or two. The first rule of detectiving is to never let your mark know you're there. Ain't that right, partner? I'm not your partner, Pop. Mila, are you sure you want to come along? If you want to sit this one out... It's fine. We can split up to cover more ground. So, what's the sit rep? We're heading north. We'll probably find what we're looking for there. Fine. Let's get this over with. No. It can't be. Oh. He left the planet. Didn't he? What was this? Bad news. Probably that's what's worse. Whatever. I'll just give him a one-way ticket home, courtesy of the Hundred Hook Punch. Let's make like math tutors and divide their numbers. I'll see you on the other side. Please state your identity. Uh, Sash Lilac. I'm sorry, I did not understand. Sash Lilac. Did you mean Squidhead? What? Oh, someone is definitely going to pay for that. And I get the feeling I know who. Enemies detected. Executing slaughter sequence. Move it! Whew! Thanks, Escal. Just in time. Where's Mila? The pup's keeping watch outside. I'm here to help you search the place. Or punch things, probably. Have you found the thief? Worse. We found a hideout that's swarming with Brevin's robots. That is unsettling news. Did you encounter the villain himself? We haven't found anyone yet, but someone has to be controlling them. Find out who it is. I will assemble a strike force if necessary. Come on! I don't have all day! No! Shut up! Mila? Fine! Then by the will of Lord Brevin, I sentence you to death! Mother! Uh, hand over that robot! Uh, General Serpentine, command it! Get away from Mila! What are you doing here, Snake? Is Brevin back? Is he? Yeah! <laughs> That's right! Tremble in fear. Once Lord Brevin returns, we'll all be nothing but a pitiful smear on the shattered remnants of this wretched planet! Once Lord Brevin returns... So... he's not back. <sighs> Fortunately for you, you've caught me in a charitable mood. So here's the deal. You give me the robot, and I won't blast you and your friends into the stratosphere! Well, here's my deal. You leave us alone, and you never come back. Nobody hurts my friends! Yeah! Fine! Then die! You'll pay for that! So this Serpentine was behind the incident. A relief, to say the least. I'm just glad to hear that Brevin's not back. <sighs> Father. Wait, that robot thing is his dad? 
No. His father, the previous king, was murdered by the intergalactic warlord Brevin. We chased Brevin off our world, but not before he left his mark on us. Oh, yeah. Heard the stories. Sounded made up. Didn't even think they could be true. <laughs> I wasn't strong enough. No, you weren't. Nira! There was nothing you could have done differently. But look at you now. You are the king of Shui Gong. Your people look to you for guidance and leadership. You've only grown stronger since that day, your majesty. And you do your father's memory proud. My people and I will take over from here. If the monster has truly returned, you will be the first to know. Thank you, your majesty. No. Thank you. This is Maria Note reporting live. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news flash. Mayor Zhao has been kidnapped. He is currently being held hostage somewhere in the Globe Opera. Eyewitnesses say he was taken by mechanical creatures that emerged from Shang Mu's River Delta. What the? Guys, come quick! We've just received word that the military has been deployed to maintain order. Citizens are urged to remain calm and to stay in their homes. We're getting a call. On screen. Hello, friends! Uh, funny story. Well, not so much funny as completely horrifying! But you see... Okay, 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 so long story short, they're gonna kill me if you don't give them what they want, so please, 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 just do what they say and get me out of here! Magister, how I've longed to see that look in your eyes. Is that... a water dragon? That's impossible. What trickery is this? No trickery at all, Magister. Such deception would be the purview of your grandfather, not I. You speak nonsense. Truly? Then why not tell your students what's really going on? Poor Hatchling. I'd laugh if it weren't such sad irony. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to make sure you don't hurt anyone else. This land is protected! Hatchling, have you ever wondered what happened to all of the water dragons? Enough! What do you want? What I want is for you to answer for all that you've done. But for the time being, I have more pressing concerns. This is Bakunawa. Magnificent, is she not? But she is missing a vital component. The drone you call Tengu. The one that's in the room with you right now. I'd like to have it. Bring it to the Globe Opera. You'd better hurry, though. Red pandas are very much my favorite snack. See you soon. Magister. Who was that? Magister? Our worst fears realized. A merciless centurion from a time when our land was ravaged by war. A creature bred for battle with a lust for bloodshed. Murga. So what she need the robot for? Some kind of data in its memory banks, perhaps? Something crucial to the operation of this... Bakunawa. That pilot, Corazon. She demanded that robot as well. Kari isn't with her! There's no way she'd do that! If you say so. An unfortunate coincidence, then. Let me go after her! Please, Your Excellency! I acknowledge your strength, brave Dragonblood, but her power is unlike anything you or your companions have ever faced before. Still, perhaps there is a slight hope that she can be reasoned with. Somehow, I don't think she wants to talk. Yeah, and the thought of just giving her the drone gives my stomach the rumblies. What about the one we took from Snake Man? It looks just like Pangu. Maybe it could fool her? Yeah. A fresh lick of blue paint and nobody will tell the difference. A fair enough distraction. We must buy as much time as we can to free the mayor. But first, we need to find a way inside that won't draw attention. Wah. On screen! Come in, my Shang Tuzhen friends. This is Captain Kalau. Perfect timing, Captain. We have an emergency. I am aware of the mayor's kidnapping, friends. 
I believe that together we can quickly resolve this most dire of situations. You have our gratitude, Captain. Do you have the mayor's location? Indubitably. Mayor Zhao was last seen in the Central Theater area. We'll meet you there. Stay vigilant, friends. Anything could happen. This drone is dripping wet! This blue is not a judicious color. Sorry about that, Captain. You know what to do, right? I am approaching the rendezvous point. Show yourself, you pugilistic physignathus! I, Captain Kalau, bring an offering of peace! Come in, Cap! Is everything alright over there? Are you there? Captain? What, what happened? We have to hurry. If the Captain is in trouble, we need to save Zhao right now! Mayor Zhao? Where are you? Say something if you can hear us! I smell someone. It's Captain Kalau! Captain! He's alright! Hey, Cap! Glad you could make it! Captain! Did you meet up with Murga? Did she fall for the decoy? Uh... Captain? There's someone behind him! <laughs> Cory! What are you in short stuff doing here? They're with the monster. What? That's crazy, scary lady. Wrong! We're all buddies and best pals over here. What? What the heck's going on? You're all working for Murga? Are you all brainwashed or something? No, Carol. Believe it or not, I'm doing this for you. Some injustices can never be forgiven. Where is Murga? Everyone, stand your ground! Right! Why can't I sense her? <gasps> so, Hatchling, you've come after all. Where is Zhao? Captain, if you'd please. He's okay! Let's get out of here! I think not. Now that all the players have gathered, it is time for this performance to end. But... but you helped Pangu, right? We did what you asked! We had a deal, Murga! The deal did not include distracting me so you could free this miserable speck of a man. Besides, even without my informant, I could clearly recognize the machine you brought as a fake. Whoa! Giant fish lady was a ghost? A hologram. She was never here in the first place. Take care of our guests. A delight, ladies. General, come in. Gong, do you copy? Nah, uh, uh, spoilers! Nothing's getting in or out thanks to my signal jammer playmate, casual acquaintance number 47! All fighters, fangs out! You're not actually going to fight your own sister, are you? Of course not. I would never hurt my beloved sibling. You, fight my beloved sibling. Of course. How is this any different? Captain, don't do this. Not only because I still think you're cool and stuff, but didn't I already beat you once the first time? That was the old Captain Kalau. A Captain Kalau that was holding back. Now, he has awakened his true strength with the flames of burning justice! Well, this is gonna suck. Come on, gang. Split them up and take them down. A most invigorating warm-up, brave fighters. But the battle is just beginning. Behold! My greatest playmate yet! The BFF 2000! Fighters, form up! Three! Two! One! Activate! Beast one, checking in! Beast two, checking in! Beast three, checking in! Come on! Cory! 
She'll be fine. We need to leave. Now. No, no, don't mind me. I have this perfectly under control. Wriggling to freedom is my forte. <laughs> How did they get tighter? Gong, do you copy? Magister! Ascal! Anyone! Useless! This was a trap from the beginning! We need to get back to the Magister! Run, Dragon! As fast as you can! What about us? Don't worry. I have a cunning plan. Ah, uh, this is so uncool! Hold on, guys. I'm almost there! Please be okay! Pascal! <sighs> Thanks, kid. They got the drop on us. Took Gong and the Magister, left me for dead. We gotta find them! Come on! Lilac, no! <laughs> Traitor! Pascal, stop! <laughs> what are you doing? The right thing. Magister, you stand accused of covering up the war crimes of your ancestors. How do you plead? What? Is... is that what Murga told you? Why would you believe her? Shut up, kid. This doesn't concern you. Think it's about time you had a taste of your own medicine. No! Stop it! <laughs> well, isn't that a surprise? I always figured you were older than me. Well, whatever. From now on, the world is gonna see you for what you really are. A war criminal. I have always served to keep the peace of the people and the city of Shang Tu. If that is a war crime, then so be it. Yeah? You think you can do any better? <laughs> Me? No. Sitting on a throne all day telling people what to do doesn't do it for me. But I'll tell you what, I know someone who's really looking forward to it. No. You seem unhinged, Magister. Ah, yes. I can sense your anger. Your seething hatred. But it is nothing! Amplified a thousandfold and still it would quiver against the raging typhoon within me! The Kingdom Stone is no more! The floodgates have opened! You shall welcome death! <laughs> Kill him! Open your eyes, Hatchling! This man has lied to you! All of you! His entire life! Do you remember the question? The question I asked but he dared not answer? What happened to all of the water dragons? Shut up! I'm not listening to you! They were murdered. All of them. Entire clans of water dragons wiped out. Also, his kind could lay claim to the world that we once called home. It's... I... No, I don't... Move aside, Hatchling. He will answer for his people's crimes, and then we can talk. No, I won't! Not like this! There has to be a better way than this! Like what? Diplomacy? The art of offering one hand in friendship, while the other holds a dagger behind their back. No. Never again. Earth dragons are schemers and liars! Lilac, what's going on? Oh boy, a lot, I'm guessing. Your Excellency, what have they done to you? And so the cavalry arrives, just in time to witness your Magister's fatal indictment. Askel, of all people, it was you? Sorry you had to find out this way, Mia. I'll explain everything later, but right now, the Magister has to go. I've already gone through the trouble of sparing one panda today. I don't intend to do so a second time. The lives and ideals of this kingdom are but an extension of my own. I will not yield! <laughs> you think to stop me? Come then, show me your resolve. There's too many of them! 
We will bring peace and stability to this city at any cost! We will not bow down to traitors! Nira, stop! That's it! We're out of here! Let them go. We have what we came for. What about the Magister? He needs to answer for everything he's done! If he wants to prolong his suffering, then so be it. His time will come soon enough. And if any of his allies return, I will kill them. <laughs> Enough, Nira! We've lost! Cowards! How could you all just run away? Nira, it wasn't a battle we could win. Right now, we have to get everyone to safety. Then we can figure out what to do. It's my home. It'll be okay, Lady Nira. Forgive me. We should get moving. I should have known better than to trust again. You have all done this world a great service. As long as my plans advance appropriately, your city will not be harmed. Bakunawa will rise. Scal must have been talking to them behind my back. Even as I was training him, I should have been paying more attention. <sighs> I failed my kingdom. Is a fish at fault when it takes a fisherman's bait? Perhaps. But the fisherman's role should not be ignored. Uh, okay. I think I get that, Magister. Of course, now I'm hungry. Me too. I'm starving! Wait a minute. Uh, I hope I still have them. The coupons! Free dinner! And shelter. Let's head to Shangmu. Your Excellency. It is a sound idea. Oh, it's you! Welcome! Uh, hi, Mayor Zhao. We're ready to redeem our coupons. Oh! Oh, but of course! Just step right this way! Uh, uh, huh. Um, who's that? That's the Magister, you rube. Pay your respects. Oh! <laughs> Boy, is this, uh, awkward. It's a long story. Can we explain it all inside? Please? <sighs> oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. Come on. This is absolutely horrible! Catastrophic! Who's going to be my Battlesphere champion now? A talking fish just took over all of Shang 2, and that's what you're worried about? Yeah. Oh, but also dibs on the Battlesphere champion title? So can we stay here? I suppose I could squeeze you all in the library. Follow me. Your Excellency, about what Murga was telling us, was any of that true? Yes. Why? It was a different time. We were at war. We had no choice. No choice? How was almost wiping out an entire race even a choice? There are no good choices in war. There is only survival and the means to achieve said survival. Surely someone of your upbringing would understand that. Oh no! Don't you dare try and guilt trip me! I never killed anyone when I was in the Red Scarves! And yet, did you not behave in a manner contrary to your true self simply because to do otherwise would invite the scorn of your peers? Did you not comfort yourself with the hopeless lie that you were a good person, 
in spite of the crimes you committed? The sins you inflicted? You don't know what you're talking about! You don't know anything! Hey, that's enough! That's still the Magister you're shouting at! Besides, this here is a library. Mmm, delish. Oh man, I totally forgot how hungry I was. I'm not really that hungry. Not after what happened tonight. Speaking of which... <clears throat> tonight has not been easy. We have lost the battle, but the war is not over yet. We need to devise a strategy. Murga is a threat to all of Avalis. Yeah, and I doubt you'd want her coming to visit your city again, Zhao. If that fish face so much as lays a single foot in my city, she'll be fried! Like... like this plate of fried plantains right here! Yeah, only more like blackened bananas, as these babies have clearly been cooked to golden perfection! Hoo-hoo! Pass me some of that, will ya? One moment... Here you are! Focus! So what do we know about Murga, anyway? I mean, what else? Murga comes from a time when Shang Tu was at war with the island nation of Perusa. She was uncontrollable, laying waste to entire armies single-handedly. My ancestors were unable to end her, but they did devise a way to contain her. They sealed her and her destructive potential away with the power of the Kingdom Stone. The Kingdom Stone? So when the stone was shattered, that Brevin... Another calamity we can lay at his feet. But what else? Murga seems to be completely set on her vengeance. Why? All the water dragons are gone now. And then there's Bakunawa. Just what is that thing? There's so much we don't know, and the only people who can tell us are long dead. Oh, those people may be dead, but there's no reason why they can't talk. Well, not literally talk, I mean, but... My library has the largest collection of historical texts in all of Avalis. I'm sure I have a few books written by people who lived in those times. Wow, that sounds super neat. I'd love to read them. Certainly. Our rental fees are very reasonable. Then I will commit myself to research. Perhaps an answer to our current predicament lies within those texts. I'd love to help too. Um, if that's okay, Your Excellency. A second pair of eyes would be useful. Yeah, while you guys read, I'm going to go find Cory and talk her out of this. What? Absolutely not. She's with them. That makes her our enemy. She attacked us, Carol. She put you in danger. Okay, fair points all around, but listen. I know how she thinks. It's all about money to her. If you, like, drop some moo on me to bribe her or something, I'm sure she'd switch sides just like that. Everything you just said does not help your case in the slightest. A mercenary who would work for the highest bidder and change loyalties at the drop of a hat is inherently untrustworthy. I concur. It would be an unnecessary risk. Come on, we could use her help. She has that huge airship thing, too. <clears throat> Don't mean to toot my own horn here, but, uh, fastest airship in the country right here. We appreciate the gesture. And we shall avail ourselves to that service as well. Oh, well, I didn't mean... I mean, I guess I did mean, but... It is settled. The mercenary is too great a risk. We must focus on the immediate task ahead of us. Assess the threat of Murga and stop this Bakunawa. <sighs> Everyone, wake up! Carol is gone! Of uh, all the worst times. Traitor! What? Carol? She may be a lot of things, like reckless and selfish, but- She knows where the Magister is hiding and our plans. If she doesn't outright join Murga, then this information will be beaten out of her. It doesn't matter how we feel about her. She's placed our entire mission at risk. And that makes her a traitor. Do you hear yourself? You're talking about our friend! The captain was our friend. Ascal was our friend. Who's next, I wonder? Are you going to join Murga as well? Mira, calm down! Don't tell me what to do! Stop! Please, stop! I can find Carol. I know her scent. Lady Mira, I know you're hurting, and I know you're having trouble trusting people right now. But trust me, I would never, ever hurt you. Please.
you're right. Forgive my outburst. It's okay. We'll find her together. Right! We all know where she's going, so all we need to do now is find her sister. Her ship is a Perusian carrier. She'll most certainly have a base in the Southern Islands. Then that's where we're headed. Tell Perusa! Hold it right there! You don't honestly think you can get to Perusa without my help, do you? You're coming with us? Certainly! With our combined strength and cunning, we'll get that fish-based tyrant a proper what for! He wants to find a new battle sphere champion. I want to find a new battle sphere champion! Very well. Your ship would ease the difficulty of passage. To the skies, my friends! We'll handle it from here, Mayor. You may continue on your way. He's not coming with us? Oh, I get it. We need to keep a low profile. Zhao and his airship would be way too conspicuous. Eh, wrong! I'm just way too awesome for this mission. Or that, sure. Well, off to find my champion! Toodles! We'll call you if we need a ride! Watch out for roaming, please! Bye, Mayor Zell. Keep on battlefield! I'm getting a signal. Carol? I don't know. It's all fuzzy. About time you ladies picked up. What the... Spade? That's my name. Don't wear it out. A red scarf. Explain yourself. How did you access our channel? I'd prefer to tell you in person. Meet me in the basement at Goldie's. Can't miss it. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject? Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from the Ocean Dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power, biologically engineered for war. I don't know how substantial these rumors are, but given their current level of righteous descent, I wouldn't dismiss their ability to craft such a beast. Father is convinced that we've run out of options for dealing with these savages. If that's the case, then there isn't much time left. I have to act without his permission. I will leave the capital and head for Perusa to negotiate some kind of peace with the Ocean Dwellers. Surely they'll listen to reason. We're all living on this planet together after all. End entry. Magister, how goes the research? I have perused numerous texts about the war, but none of them have mentioned anything about Murga that we do not already know. Got some news on that front. I just found a personal audio log from someone named Cordelia, and she was talking about Murga. Cordelia? Princess Cordelia? What did she say? She said that Murga was... a champion of some kind. I see. I will look into the matter. You must focus on the imminent threat of Bakanawa. Magister, I think... No. I know where to find more clues about Murga. Truly? Does it not seem odd that you, of all people, stumbled upon this audiologue? Maybe I just got lucky. Or maybe someone is out to entrap you, like Murga. Let us not forget her previous attempt to coerce you. Long time no see. Long time no see. Long time no see! And we have never met. Are we done? Yep. Anyway, lower your hackles. Your channel is secure. I just got the codec frequency off my brother. I guess Dale heard about the attack, huh? Yeah. And he's doing everything he can to avoid an all-out war with an ancient water dragon. In the meantime, I'm just doing my part to save the world. We do not conduct business with career criminals. Yeah, and saving the world doesn't really line up with your usual interests. Look, it was either this or helping Mayor Zhao find his champion. And you know me, I like my jobs dangerous. Besides, I've got intel that I think you'll want to know. So what do you say? Hmm. Let's do it for Carol! What kind of intel? 
Secret tunnels, strange beacons, the works. These islands are crawling with them, and our newly elected leader of Shang Tu is using them for her plans. Ah! Is that a volcano? I only see smoke, which is good. Hot melty lava would be bad. Not exactly a vacation hotspot, huh? Oh, it's a hotspot, all right. Those volcanoes should be dormant. Plus, a bunch of robots have moved into the region, and they are definitely not friendly. Robots! Sounds like that monkey's friends! We will find out what these extremists are planning and crush them at their source. Perhaps you are of some use to us after all, Scar. But don't expect us to owe you anything. Relax. Big Bro's the one foot in the bill. These are the leads I've dug up so far. Then this diner will act as our headquarters for the interim. We can talk battle strategies over Lumpia! Right! Let's move out! A massive fight is happening in the jungle nearby. Safe bet it's Carol doing her Carol thing. If it is, I'll stick her out! Retrieve her safely, but do not forget what she has done. You can't hide from me, monkey boy! Return the syntax room to me at once, else my overwhelming power will blow your mind into a million pieces! No way, Ashtray! I found it fair and square! Yeah! Your voice is so annoying! Just give me the robot! No, your voice is annoying! Prepare to be silent! No, your voice is annoying! And I fire my missile! This fighting can work to our advantage. If we serve Tishu to evade Serpentine and his attack, we can strike a crucial blow to Murga's forces. But I can't do that now! If we get this attack, he'll be very easy! Better we face the man who's stupid with the attack. This is our chance to turn the tide of war. No! No! When the freedom of Shang Chi is at stake, ladies! I don't like the idea of either of them having syntax. We saw firsthand how dangerous it is. Let's focus on getting it back first. Ha <laughs> ha! it! You can run, but you can't hide! <laughs> <laughs> Syntax is here too? It's like... Well, it's like a jungle in here. Hey, get away from her! She's mine! Oh, but she's very dangerous. You should let us big sisters take care of her. No! She's the heart of my latest greatest buddy yet! The BFF 3000! With her as the conduit, all three combiners can be operated by a single pilot! Maximum action, maximum firepower, maximum... Oh. Ah! Where did she go? I get the feeling we're about to find out. <laughs> Hello indeed! <laughs> so kind of you to fix my throne for me, monkey boy. Hey! No fair cheating, you cheater! I am not cheating! I'm just smarter than you, and now nothing will stop me from... As I was saying, nothing will stop me from... You'll be sorry when Murga shows up! We're gonna wake up Bakunawa, and she's gonna take me to outer space! Space! Ha! Looks like we've got a junior astronaut here. Then join me. The great and generously giving Lord Brevin is always looking for new recruits. Don't listen to him. His offers are steeped in lies and deceit. Oh, uh, yeah! Stop it! And you, dog! I repeat my offer! Or would you rather your friends learn the truth? What truth? That you're a miserable snake? Join me, little one! You may yet live to see your parents! So you're not only a cheat, but a liar, too! Brevin sure knows how to pick them. Uh, fine! Then witness the power of a fully operational syntax! 
Initiate code black! As you wish, sir. In light of our mutually assured destruction, I believe a truce is in order. We need to get my BFF 2000! All three combiners! They're the only way we're not getting squished! <laughs> I'm invincible! Hey, Snake Eyes! Got a surprise for ya! Fighters! Activate! Um, do we do something now or. Say activate! Oh, okay! <clears throat> activate! Activate! No, no, no! We all have to say activate at the same time! You cannot be serious. That song and dance routine is required for this thing to function. Get out of my sight, eyesore! Activate! This can't be! With the power of syntax, I should be invincible! Victory! <laughs> and now what's yours is mine! Huh? Where did my playmates go? Guys? Was kidnapping Mayor Zhao and having a hand in Shang Tu's downfall not also a little mean? I'm just glad that's over with. Lilac, about what Serpentine said. It's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I'd trust you over Snake Man any day of the week. And when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. Now, let's go find Carol. Okay! You don't seem all that hung up about Carol. Carol's... Carol, I guess. Still has to do things her way. She hasn't changed at all. Not in the way you did, right? What's that supposed to mean? Just saying. You can't blame your friends for not growing up as fast as you. Oh yeah. Like you gave me a choice. And you're still holding on to that. You stole me from my family before I was even hatched. So yeah. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. Listen, I was a kid. A kid who needed to get in good with the Scarves. I'm sorry that I picked your egg, but that's how it was. We're lucky that I even found my way back. Lucky? Lucky that I never got to know my parents? Lucky that I discovered I was a living trophy? They wanted the egg for the pool room. It was luck... It was good that they didn't mind when you hatched. Things could have gone a whole lot worse. I have a criminal record from being raised by a bunch of thieves, Spade. I lived in the woods because my wanted posters were everywhere. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry that your life didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. I made some bad decisions, brought you along for the ride, and now we're here, okay? It's not okay. And I'm sorry about that, too. This is why we don't talk. This was on the news before you arrived. Brothers and sisters of Perusa, I, Captain Kalau, have returned to resolve your looming volcanic crisis. With the power of geothermal science and my superb physical strength, I shall divert all of that harmful subterranean pressure and siphon it into the sea, where it shall be rendered harmless. Worry not and rejoice, good citizens. The Red Wing of Justice is on the case.
Something doesn't feel right about the captain's plan. And the signs they've got seem to bit off. Well, besides that, Captain Cornball over there's been setting up beacons all over the island. Probably all a part of his egotistical plan. Ooh, shining! Bip, bip, bip! They can't be for anything benign. Let's seek them out and disable them. Post haste. Could the captain earnestly be trying to save his people? If so, then perhaps it is not too late for him to see reason. You ladies be careful! Hold it right there, villain! Oh boy, only one person I know talks like that. What? It's just you? Well, I suppose you will have to do. Say your absolute worst, villain. Go on. Let everyone see you for the splenetic Shangtusian terrorist that you are. Your monstrous attacks on peace will be broadcast on every channel in Perusa. And I, Captain Kalau, will be the legendary hero who strikes you down. This whole thing was about publicity? That's the reason you're working for Murga? Close up, please. Now witness the Red Wing of Justice reborn! Now you've done it. I am the terror. And what for justice? Impossible. Justice has fallen this day. More like your ego. Incorrect, villain. Murga relayed to me the horrid tale of the Magister's foul crimes against this world. To fight against such inequity, I, Captain Kalau, would become the hero that Avalis deserves. So this is you jumping at the chance to be a hero for real, after playing one as the Battlesphere champion. Is that it? <laughs> Battlesphere champion. What kind of hero sits in a playground all day, waiting for evil to come to him? I am a joke, an action figure. A fake legend prancing around for my beloved citizen's amusement. As if I could care any less about them sitting at home, stuffing their faces, watching me grapple for sport. But not anymore. This time, I will be the hero. This time, I will be the one who saves the world. And no one is going to stand in my way! Ahem. Which is what Captain Kalau would say had Captain Kalau been brain-sucked by villainous Shangtusian terrorists. But fear not, good citizens. I, Captain Kalau, the Red Wing of Justice, have broken free of their dastardly programming and will live on to fight another day. Hya! I get the feeling the captain's out of the hero business. Guys! Corazon is here! I knew it. Don't wait for the rest of us. Use extreme caution. You three sure love to cost a girl a fortune in hangar repairs, don't you? Carol came up here to find you. Where is she? Other than gone, who knows? I'd say she'd gotten tired of it all. Murga, Magister, all that jazz. Spirits know I have. Can't blame her for punching out. Yeah, right. Carol just giving up? That doesn't sound like her at all. Yeah? And how would you know that? She's my best friend. And she's my flesh and blood. You think you know my own sis better than me? <sighs> well, you can't force her to do what she don't want to, either way. She's her own woman, just like when she left for the scars. Take a page out of her book. Get gone and stay gone. Murga's got this in the bag. You're all way behind the power curve here, so get out before it hits zero. How does she keep doing that? We have bigger problems. While we may have disabled the beacons in this region... Didn't they say they were all over the island? Oh. Looks like we have work to do. The volcanic activity on the island is reaching a critical juncture. We have to act immediately, or there won't be a Perusa left. Oh, oh! We could blow a hole in the side of the volcano! Then all that lava will plop, plop into the ocean and nobody gets turned into charcoal! Okay, one, you're dark. Two, you want to stop a volcano by blowing it up? She's not wrong. That lava is coming out one way or another, so we might as well do it in a way that's safe. Well, 
safe-ish. For this plan to succeed, we must create a powerful explosion. Mila, that explosive color-changing potion of yours. I don't suppose you could create a more potent version. I think so. I just need a few ingredients first. We can probably find them around the island. I'll make a list. Then it looks like we're going on a scavenger hunt. I'll call Zhao when we're ready. He can help us reach the peak. A full-scale eruption would be disastrous. Safe winds. Guys! This place has Bakunawa carved on the walls! Hello? Can anyone read me? Something here is blocking the signal. Since when did I become everyone's personal taxi service? You said we could call you if we needed a ride. Correction, you said you'd call me if you needed a ride. I just sailed away. Um, how's the hunt for a battle spirit champion going? <sighs> it takes a certain je ne sais quoi to become the battle spirit champion. Someone strong, swift, mysterious, with the force of a great... Seguera! Everyone, battle stations! Battle stations? This is Mayor Zhao's luxurious sky palace! Not Mayor Zhao's threat, not Marauder! What happened to all the cannons? Where else was I going to put the hot springs? Jump! My beautiful sky palace! My ship! My ship! Is everyone alright? I'm okay! The chemical reagents I'm carrying are fine too! No explody! Zhao, come in! How's... How is Mayor Zhao's luxurious sky palace? <laughs> Zhao! <laughs> He's fine. Alright, ladies, let's go! We got ourselves a volcano to blow up! <laughs> Pascal! Good, you're here. Saves me the trouble of hunting you down. Stay away from us, you traitor! Not happening. You've caused us way too much trouble. So did selling your soul to Murga make you stronger? Hardly. I could always manipulate stones and gems. This whole place is made of the stuff. And that's why it's gonna be your grave! Like that'll happen. <laughs> You're mine. There. You happy? Now let me go! <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? You! What do you think this fight even means? Murga has won. Someone with water dragon blood like you should be celebrating. War is nothing to be happy about. So what's the other option, huh? An immoral peace? A peace where people like us are unwanted? Outcasts who get shaded glances from more acceptable members of society? Is that whose world you're fighting for? Because I can tell you right now, it won't be enough. It will never be enough for them. That... No. I'm not going to get into this with you. Let me out. I'm guessing Murga is going to want you back at some point, so let me out before I make her lose her pet Earth Dragon. <laughs> Fine. Good talk. We can pick it up some other time. Eventually, you'll have to face reality. And in the end, you'll know I'm right. Alright, everyone! Hope you're ready, cause here we go! Wow, it even smells like a rainbow. So the flowers? Yup! All a part of Mill's ultimate sanctioned makeover potion! Patent pending. Strange. The ciguata has disappeared. I suppose the Technicolor explosion must have scared them away. Oh well. Mission accomplished, gang. Huh? Thanks for the fun times. Unfortunately, I've got bills to pay and errands to run. Consider the robot my 
service fee. Have fun saving the world. Oh, that's it! King Dale, a word, your highness? Miss Nera. I will attempt to phrase this as politely as possible. Tell your wretched scoundrel of a brother to surrender that alien drone immediately! Wait, what are you talking about? You sent him to assist us in Perusa, and now he's run off with the Syntax drone. And you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I am going to bust him up good. <sighs> See that you do. I knew he had something up his sleeve. Spade is such a card. Look on the bright side! At least Serpentine doesn't have Syntax, right? We have to find him. He cannot be allowed to sell that drone to anyone with both the money yeah, and no, temerity to... Gone. Wait, like you're all what's that sound? Syntax. That scent! Curse you, and that Freddy. other scent! <laughs> so the fool finally shows herself. Carol? Carol! Serpentine! Carol, quick! Get behind us! We'll cover you! What are you guys doing here? A better question. What is he doing here? Hold up, it's cool. We're on the same team now. The green team. So it's treason then. Yes! The furball works for me now. And together we will make Bakunawa mine! Uh, no. Backspace bro, you work for me. Do you think this is some kind of a game, Wildcat? You've led us on a wild goose chase, jeopardizing the safety of millions. Look, I know it was a bad idea. Now, it was a family thing. I wasn't thinking straight, and it didn't end well. So let's just let bygones be bygones, eh? Oh, sorry, scary lady. What? No henchman of mine is going to apologize to anyone but me! Scratch her face! That's enough! We need to set aside our issues. Carol wants Cory, and Serpentine wants Bakunawa, and Nira wants Carol's head on a stick. Okay, but none of that is going to happen if- I agree. I will begin the head transplant immediately. But! There was a but there, Nira. Hold on. Hey, ladies. So, good news and bad news. Safe by the gong, am I right? <laughs> is that Carol? And Serpentine? Man, what did I miss? Never mind that, General. Report. Well, good news is, Murga's not at the palace no more. Shang Tu has been retaken? Excellent work. Thanks, but uh, she kind of left on her own. Bad news is she took Pangu with her. Didn't she say that Pangu was a vital component? So that means... Bakunawa. <laughs> yes! Yes! Bakunawa will soon be mine! Are you trying to get beat up? Oh, Murga also left a message. Sounded like it was meant for Lilac. Me? Plate. Hatchling, I know you and your friends are behind the efforts to sabotage my work in Perusa. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. You still do not fully understand, and I wish to educate you. Meet me at these coordinates tonight. Come alone. Trap! Trap, 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 trap! Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I'm trying to hustle the soldiers we have left in Shang Tu for when you ambush Murga. You are ambushing Murga, right? No. Lilac, you do know that today is an opposite day, right? You all go look for Spade. I can handle this. You, you want, want me us to, to work, work with, with you the reprobate, reprobate who, who attempted me from to destroy destroying our this world? world? I do. And unless you two want to fight over who let Spade get away with Syntax the worst, I'd suggest you two shake hands and get on with it. <laughs> So you've come. And alone, even. I hope to earn that mark of respect. Why call me out here, Murga? We had many names once. Then the Earth Dragons came and took those names away from us. We were their brothers and sisters of the sea, and given just one name. Water Dragon. to be redeemed and remade in order to accomplish a necessary duty. I suppose it was in our favor that we were the most biologically compatible species on this planet. Out of our union was conceived a child, Bakunawa. And once she was born, well, they'd taken our names already. What else could they have taken from us?
didn't know. I'm sorry. Hatchling. Sash Lilac. Come with me. What? There is nothing left for us here. We can go and never return. Leave the Earth Dragons to their machinations and fly to a new world. And what happens to this world? Does it matter? I see. In that case... What's this meant to be? A clever ruse. <laughs> no! Not gonna- I'm impressed. That should have rendered you unconscious immediately. Not to worry. You will have plenty of time to forgive me once I awaken Bakunawa. Sneak attack! Hold on, Lila! This potion will fix you right up! Guys, you came! Alright, giant fish lady, back off! Unless you want a face full of punching! Indeed. Your schemes end here, Murga. Bakunawa will not rise this day! <laughs> what was that? A redirection of the island's volcanic pressure to key fault lines. You may have disabled a few of our beacons, but not all. Impossible! You needed Pengu! It was a vital component! I'm no fool. It was installed well before your arrival. No! We're too late! Indeed. And that is why it is you who shall end here. <laughs> that brought death to so many of my people will now be my salvation. But Kunawa will rise to the sky and devour your moon, giving her the energy she needs to lead this solar system. And we will sail the stars while this world rots. This planet is yours! Long may you reign vainglorious over a dead world! up with her now she's flying too high and too fast this can't be happening i won't let it lilac no Looks pretty undevoured. What just happened? The fool! She's clearly too far away for the mining laser to be effective! Unhand me at once! The cooperative General Serpentine is on your side, and he has a plan. Let him go. We have an agreement. And you, talk! <laughs> it's simple. I have a small ship capable of chasing down the stolen weapon and evading any detection system she may have on 
board. Which is more than I can say for your flying whale here. Hey! Don't you listen to him, there's our luxurious Sky Fortress. He's just a mean, jealous reptile. You will turn this vehicle over to us immediately, Snake. We will use it to take the fight to Murga. Excuse me! First of all, it's my ship, so only I can pilot it. And second of all, no passengers! For the velocity I need to catch up to Bakunawa, I need the ship to be as light as possible. So we are to put the fate of the world in your hands. I think not. Maybe you could compensate for the additional weight somehow. I suppose. But the calculations involved would be... Ah! Why even talk about it? I might have been able to do it with syntax. But without the drone, I'm just wasting my breath. So that's it then. Murga really has won. I'm going to talk to Serpentine. Mila? Don't worry. I can make him change his mind. Never thought I'd see this place again. It's in pretty good shape. Good work, General. It's good to be home. Yeah, all things considered, this is the tidiest invasion ever. Wish all of our invaders were this neat. Good news, everyone! Serpentine's agreed to take us with him! Yes! Out of the goodness of my reptilian heart, I've decided that all five of us will stop the menace that is Murga. Thanks, Serpentine. And great work, Mila. How did you manage to convince him? Oh, I just made a promise. No biggie. I hope you're all exactly as heavy as you look. Otherwise, this will be a short trip. Rude assessment of our collective weight aside, I assume this interjection means we are ready to leave? Weren't you listening to me before? I still need syntax for the vector calculations. Then our course is clear. Track down Spade, beat him to within an inch of his life, and take syntax back from his broken fingers. Sounds like a plan. We'll hold the fort down here. Before you go, though, Magister wants to see you girls. Something urgent, he says. Yo, Magister, what's up? Magister, you summoned us, O oh, Exalted One? Thank you for coming. I wish to share the results of my research regarding Murga and the Water Dragon people. At first, what I found merely reaffirmed everything we already knew. That the Water Dragons turned violent. That Murga was their greatest warrior. That many Shangtusians died defending themselves from the Perusian Scourge. Then I realized that the books I had read were all written by Earth Dragons and their descendants. I scoured the library for any book that could possibly recount history from a Water Dragon's perspective. I found it within a handwritten book of flowers and horticulture. There were various annotations by the author describing what was then to her, current events. If what she wrote is true, then... I'm so sorry, Lilac. Murga is right to be angry. Magister. I was hoping that, perhaps by speaking to her, I could persuade her from this course. Her grudge is against my people. The rest of the world need not suffer for our arrogance and conspiracy. But I suppose that hope is extinguished now. No, I don't believe that. Are you mad? She commands an aerial fortress capable of intergalactic flight and eating moons! The time to appeal to her better nature has long since passed. Maybe I just don't want to be the last water dragon anymore, but... I still want to try. The last centurion of a long-gone race? Isn't that someone worth talking to? Someone of your own blood. Yeah, I get that. Someone who may be afraid... of being nothing more than a weapon. Someone with the courage and discipline to do what is needed to be done. Very well. I suppose we can attempt to... do the right thing. Should the situation arise, 
Have I come at a bad time? We acknowledge and welcome the King of Shui Gong in the court of Shang Tu. Your Majesty! Hi! King Dale, to what do we owe this unexpected pleasure? Oh, this is just a casual state visit. I realized that we never properly thanked you for all your assistance in Shui Gong. So I brought along this beautiful gift. And this wretched scoundrel of a brother. Spade. Oh, he busted me. I'm good. My men have the Syntax drone under guard outside. From what I've gathered, you will need it to take down this Bakunawa. Magnificent! You four, finish your business here. Once I've installed Syntax on my ship, I'll be leaving immediately. So don't be late. Adversity makes for strange bedfellows, it seems. Indeed. I must make a request. When you encounter Murga, allow me to speak with her. Your communicator can act as a relay between us. I wish to... make amends. All right. This is our final message. A message that we leave for the future. Although we will respect the wishes of your people and allow our influence to pass into legend, there will come a time in your history when you must learn the truth. When we were stranded here, we sought desperately to return to our world. We wasted countless years trying to find a way home. But we are no closer to an answer than when we started. We decided that helping your civilization survive and prosper was a more efficient use of our technology. We have condensed our energy reserves into a physical relic of extraordinary power. With proper care, you may one day use it to travel to the stars, to find the answers that we alone could never find. If you wish to know more, you'll have to access our internal database. I pray that it is still intact by the time you receive this message. May the winds of time carry you for eternity. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Avalis Day. After many years, the restoration of Bakunawa is almost complete. Just in time for the anniversary of our landing on this planet. Avalis Day. Thinking about how far we've come makes me so proud to be an Earth Dragon. When we first crash landed here, the natives didn't even have a name for this planet, much less the tools and technology to properly explore and utilize its resources. Now look at us. We have proper cities alight with modern conveniences, Medicines and technological advancements for all. We've even put those ocean dwellers to work on Bakunawa, lifting them out of their primitive tribal ways. Avalis Day will be a grand celebration. End entry. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Bakunawa Rising. Bakunawa is now undergoing a full evaluation of the ship's systems, we are weeks away from having a fully functional spacecraft again. This is so exciting. However, I'm sad to report that not everyone shares in that excitement. There have been rumblings of dissatisfaction from the laborers working on Bakunawa's restoration, complaining about long hours and dangerous conditions. I think it's just a bunch of backtalk from some people who've had it too good for too long. My maid Perlis agrees, and she's one of them. Fortunately, she's one of the good ones. Spirits know some of these ocean dwellers need to learn their place. End entry. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Bakunawa abandoned. Something went wrong. We think it was an accident. I really don't know what to believe right now. The Bakunawa Restoration Project has been shut down. The Ocean Dwellers are angry. All of them. Perlis is gone, and so have all our other Ocean Dwellers.
her servants. When I asked Father where they went, he insisted that they'd taken time off to celebrate some kind of holiday. He wouldn't look at me when he told me that. When I asked about what happened with Bakunawa, he told me to mind my own business, still refusing to look at me. I think we've done something truly terrible today. End of dream. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from the Ocean Dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power, biologically engineered for war. I don't know how substantial these rumors are, but given their current level of righteous descent, I wouldn't dismiss their ability to craft such a beast. Father is convinced that we've run out of options for dealing with these savages. If that's the case, then there isn't much time left. I have to act without his permission. I will leave the capital and head for Perusa to negotiate some kind of peace with the Ocean Dwellers. Surely they'll listen to reason. We're all living on this planet together after all. End entry. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, trapped. My Ocean Dweller hosts have decided that, as the Magister's daughter, I would be more useful to them as a hostage. Marvelous. The nature of my imprisonment was discussed in a meeting between the Ocean Dweller's elders and I, by which I mean, I was present while a bunch of old men talked about me as if I wasn't there. It was several minutes before I realized what I'd assumed was a statue was actually another living being. But I knew who it had to be. The Ocean Dweller's champion. She was... tall, dark, imposing, and she was staring directly at me the entire time. It was unsettling. Oh, Cordelia, what have you gotten yourself into? End of dream. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject? Her name is Murga. Well, I know the champion's name. Murga. She told me, after telling me that if I was planning any Earth Dragon shenanigans, she'd take my head clean off. Apparently, the champion had the impression that my people were all schemers and liars. She based this on a sampling of everyone she had ever killed. Charming. Champion or not, I was not about to be intimidated. So I told her that if my people were as she generalized, then hers must be equally psychologically homogenous, meaning they were all as stupid as her. That earned me a glare before she stormed off. <laughs> I win. Such a child. End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. Attack of the Chopau Hog. I decided to take a wander to the markets for some fresh Chopau for my favorite stall, and who should be there ahead of me? The champion, of course! Apparently, my favorite stall was hers too. And of course, she had to have it all. She needs all the energy she can get. Oh, but she can spare just one Chopau. So she picks one out of her bag and lays it on top of my head. Then, with the biggest smirk on her face, she stalked off and the market crowd parted for her in a frightened scurry. Ugh! That woman! End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject? No place for a hero. There was an attack by Earth Dragon forces on the beach today. The champion swooped in and simply destroyed the troops. It was ruthlessly efficient. Unfortunately, an Ocean Dweller child had been caught in the middle of the battle, and his cries summoned nearby adults, and they just... stared. They saw the child in pain, but refused to come any closer. The champion tried to comfort the child, but that only seemed to make his crying worse. Eventually, she left, and the adults rushed in. As the champion turned away, I could see the expressions of relief wash over their faces, and one of her hurt flash over hers. New 
entry, Cordelia, personal, subject, revenge of the Chopau. The champion was injured today, so despite her appearance, she isn't invincible after all. I stopped by the medical center as she was healing up. She was surprised to see me, and I said the feeling was mutual. Then I offered her a Chopau. One Chopau. Out of a basket filled with Chopau that I was lugging around for emphasis. I have never seen a flatter stare. She took it anyway and mumbled something that sounded halfway between a thanks and a curse. I was happy to reciprocate with my own charming banter, and she could do nothing but glare at me from her bed. It was a fun afternoon. End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. Flowers for Murga. Unexpectedly, the champion has an interest in flowers. I was wearing a small white flower with a delightful scent in my hair, when Murga identified it as a Sampagita. It turns out that amongst the many things Murga was taught, horticulture had somehow been snuck in there as well. When I asked if she knew the name of more than one flower, she took immediate offense and dragged me to the nearest garden. She then started listing the names of the flowers there and their uses. I didn't have the heart to interrupt her. I've never seen her as happy as she was today. I like seeing her happy. End entry. New entry. Cordelia. Personal. Subject. Or fight. I tried broaching the subject of peace to Murga again tonight. She wasn't happy to talk about it and tried to distract me. I pointed out that if she and I could get along, why couldn't our people as well? She said it was impossible, that I was one of the good ones. I stormed out. I was rather furious at that point, mostly at myself. Well, now I know what being on this side of that comparison feels like. Stupid Cordelia. Marga found me later with some freshly picked moonflowers in hand and an apology. She knew exactly what to do and say. Land entry. New entry, Cordelia, personal. Subject, a war of attrition. Murga got hurt again. She tried to hide it from me, act as if it were a, a scratch. But I can tell from the way she carries herself that moving about was more difficult than usual. I suggested relaxing on the beach and watching the sunset, and she agreed immediately. She knows I know. I can see she's tired. This war has taken its toll on all of us, but most especially on Marga. She can't keep going like this. I have to convince our leaders that this isn't the only way. End entry. New entry. Cordelia, personal. Subject, in pursuit of peace. I've done it! I've convinced the elders of the Water Dragon Council to meet with the Magister in Shangtu, my old home. I think both sides expect some kind of duplicity, but I'm not worried. Marga will be with us to provide protection. If anything were to happen to us, she would cut through the country's troops like a hot knife through butter. And I think everyone is well aware of that. I have to go now. The caravan is leaving. Whatever happens next, I hope to free Murga of her role as the Ocean Dweller's champion. It won't be an easy road, but nothing worth doing is. End entry. Three years have passed since the invasion that almost destroyed our world of Avalis. Brevin, the intergalactic warlord, had planned to steal the Kingdom Stone source of energy for all our world's technology. With the help of Lilac, the Water Dragon Warrior, and her friends, we drove back our alien attackers. But the scars of war remain. The Kingdom Stone has been shattered, its fragments scattered into the very air around us. Remnants of the alien attack force haunt us still, striking us at our most vulnerable leaving us in a perpetual state of turmoil. The world of Avalis needs hope. But more than that, 
It needs heroes. Enemies detected. Executing slaughter sequence number two. Belay that! These are our allies. For now. Right. So is Syntax all fixed up to the ship now? There! All done! Now we- We leave right now! Excellent! To Bacchanawa! <laughs> what the- What did you pack? Rocks? Just brought a few potion materials to be on the safe side! And some lab equipment and safety equipment and- Bah! Whatever! You're lucky I overcompensated for how heavy you lot are fourfold! Rude assessment of our weight. Aside. Engage! As you wish, sir. Battle analysis complete. Sensors confirm a code black compatibility of 91%. <laughs> Brilliant! Then I'm heading straight for the power core! You mean you know how to get there? Um... Right. Of course not. Spread out! Do not allow Murga to trap us again. Right! Cyclone! Foolish children! You will die here! Is everyone okay? Roger, roger. I am unable to contact Serpentine or Mila. Sorry, sorry. I was just unpacking my thing. You do realize the urgency of our situation, correct? Chill out, scary lady. Some of us need a pick-me-up. Fine, but be quick. Is this really what you wanted when you joined up with Murga? She's going to destroy the moon and leave everyone on the planet to die! You think I don't know that? Of course I do. Thought I could stick by her until it all made sense again, but having Bakanawa eat the moon, that's just nuts! Murga was supposed to give a voice to us outsiders from all over the world. Instead, she's just going to destroy everything. I'm sympathetic to what you've gone through, but it looks like your big speech about me facing reality just backfired. Yeah, I chose the wrong side, I admit it. But I don't want any part of this. You want to get slaughtered? You go right ahead. Murga's even more powerful now, and she's not in the mood for visitors. Where'd that other guy run off to? Just how long have you been standing there? Oh, a while. Ah and I are friends now. His name is... Ah. Hey, friend. What's your name? <laughs> See? Well, I guess that's not the strangest thing I've heard today. Are you sure you can trust him? I just want to see space and do awesome science! Science buddies! Okay. Just keep him from building any more robots up here, all right? And here comes the cavalry. Murgo was pretty adamant nobody get past this point. So, unless you want a spanking, I'd say turn around and don't come back. Then it looks like we're going to do this the hard way. Looks like we've got ourselves a bandit. Pucker Factor 10! Corey. So, this is super awkward. You can do what you want. I'm done. If you see Murga, tell her I quit. Thanks, Corey. Let's go, Carol. You guys go on ahead. My sister and I need to talk.
still intends to blow up the moon. This is not an improvement. Stick with the plan. We need to stop Bakunawa no matter who's in charge. War dog! Sick him! What? Are you talking to Mila? Huh? Me? Yes! You! Do you see any other traitors around here? Um, well, honestly, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Oh, what a surprise! Betrayed by the very pup I trusted to betray her friends. Ha! Too bad for you. I have prepared for every contingency. In this game of chess, I hold all the cards! Um, that's not how you... This dog is a traitor to you by birthright! It doesn't matter if she refuses to fight for me! After all, we hail from the same planet! The homeland of the magnificent Lord Brevin! Brevin? Mila? Of course! We even made a deal for her to go home, in exchange for slaughtering the lot of you! No! I... I mean... I guess it's true about me not being from this planet! And I'm not a traitor! I'm... I'm not a monster! No, you're not. You're my friend, and you're wonderful. Thank you. I'm not going with you, Serpentine, and that's final! Four of a kind! Checkmate! Syntax! Resonance Link! <laughs> Mila! We need to stop that Resonance Link! Curse you! Well, no matter. With Code Black installed, I can simply flood this chamber with my robots! Then we'll see who has the last le- No! No! What happened? A bold move, General. But the will of Bakunawa has been restored. You have ten seconds to leave. Gotta go! But I had all the That... That felt good. That felt really good. Look out, world! There's a new Mila in town! <laughs> okay, maybe new Mila could take it down a notch? Oh, sure! No problem! And, um, thank you again for believing in me. <laughs> Murga, you should have run. Let there be no more death today, Murga. This planet should not have to suffer for the sins of my people. Hollow words from a boy who grew up in a palace built on those sins. I know that the Earth Dragons, my people, had enslaved your own. I know of the accidental test fire of Bakunawa's mining laser, killing thousands of water dragons in the blink of an eye. All these events and more were excised from history by Earth Dragon hands. I apologize for my complicity through ignorance. You think that a mere apology can erase our suffering? No. And that is why I intend to bring this secret history to light. Tell the world what really happened, and venerate the Water Dragon's struggle against my people's tyranny. Everyone will know what the Earth Dragons have done. Please, let this world live. <laughs> to be remembered as slaves who rebelled against their masters and lost? Or the monsters that killed the world? What choice do I really have as the one final breath of the water dragons? Wait, you don't have to- Murga, no! Stop 
like this! We are the last to suffer under the yoke of the Earth Dragons. This ends here. I wanted to believe! I wanted to see you for what water dragons were meant to be! But our past, our history, they're nothing but chains, and we are choking on them! We might be the last of our kind, but that's not all that defines us. We are the people we help, the friends we make, the love we share, and the world we leave behind. That's who we are, who we can be, but only if we decide. No! The Earth Dragons must suffer! The Water Dragons will have justice! I will have my revenge! Parameters met. Initiating playback. Hello again, love. I pray that you'll hear these words somehow. Because... I know that this isn't all we'd hoped for. And I'm so sorry. What... Marie... I wish I could be there with you right now. We had... But I hope that no matter what happens, you'll find your own happiness. No, there has to be more. There has to be something else. Play it again! Bring her back! Bring her back! Please, please, I just want to see her one more time. Please. Murga, all of this? Is this what she would have wanted for you? Syntax! I thought we blasted her off the ship along with Serpentine! Code Black, version 2 initiated. Termination protocols initiated. Mode harvesting to commence as scheduled. Something's coming this way! How many times are we gonna have to save the moon before it stays saved? Keep up your spirits, Wildcat. Let us put a stop to this. Go. I won't resist. I have much to think about. Started this. It's only right that I end it as well. All right, girls, let's finish this. Point. Leave me. No! Come with us! We'll find a point! Just don't- ah! Lila! No! Hold on! I've got you! By the collective efforts of our three kingdoms, the threat of Makanawa has come to an end. Yet as the moon we defended so passionately fades into the horizon, I cannot help but dwell on the unsettling truth that has been revealed to us.
What is punishment enough for conspiracy to silence an entire world? Will an act of forgiveness lead to peaceful resolution? Or will it buckle under the weight of those unwilling to change? Perhaps there is no perfect answer. Nevertheless, I feel it is my duty to pursue an outcome that I believe would break the cycle of conflict that has consumed our world for generations. The atrocities of our past should never be forgotten, but neither should they be repeated. Where... Shang Tu? Under regular circumstances, our laws would pronounce your deeds to be acts of war, and in the former sergeant's case, treason. Such crimes would be punishable by life in prison, or even death. <coughs> However, these are not regular circumstances. In light of certain facts that have been brought to light, the severity of your punishments will be reduced. I hereby sentence the four of you to six months of community service. <coughs> you will remain in Shang Tu for the duration of your sentence to clean up the mess caused by your callous disregard for our property. And you better do a good job. Those fossils in the museum ain't gonna rebuild themselves, you know. As you wish. Captain Kalau will do as the Hammer of Justice wills. Well, on the bright side, I guess you get to see me more often, sis. As for your ringleader, we have found neither hide nor tail of Murga in Bakanao's wreckage. We would have offered her clemency in the same manner as you, but I strongly suspect she would not have cared for an Earth Dragon's ruling. And now I declare this ruling to be concluded. General Gong will hand out your assignments. Nira, may I have a private word with you and your friends? So she's still out there, alone. How fair is Sash Lilac? She hasn't woken up yet. She's strong, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's up and about in a day or so. That is good to hear. And thank you, all of you. Once again, the day is saved thanks to your efforts. Pisha! Saving the world, no worries! Well, actually, Scary Lady here was new to all this, but we showed her the ropes. Yes, however, would I have survived without your apt tutelage? See? She even picked up a sense of humor! There is... something else. Now that we are aware of the full facts behind my people's rule and abuse of power, it would be disgraceful to continue as if nothing has changed. Which is why I am stepping down as the leader of Shang Tu. What? No, Magister, you can't! I must. If change is to happen, then it has to come from within. We will take a page from our neighboring city and appoint a new leader through free elections. In the meantime, a regent must be appointed to oversee the proceedings are fair and just. I was hoping that you would fulfill that role, Mira. M me? Uh, what? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Who's the most honorable person we know who'd protect and defend Cheng Tu at all costs? Yeah, and we have the freeze burns and jail time to prove it. Seriously, though, innocent until proven guilty next time? I... I would be honored, but surely there are others just as loyal. Perhaps. But none of them have battled a Water Dragon Centurion on a spaceship that was about to eat the moon. That is both a rare sentence and achievement. In that case, it would be my honor to accept this duty. I will not fail our people, nor leave our lands undefended. Excellent. Then I pronounce you... Regent Nira Lee of Shang Tu. Woo! Congratulations, Lady Nira! Yeah, major congrats, scary lady. I mean, Regent Scary Lady. Thank you. But what will you do now, Magister? There is still so much history lost or hidden away by the Earth Dragons. My intention is to roam the world of Avalis, 
to try and document what remnants may remain. But for now, get some rest, and I shall prepare what duties lie ahead of you as regent. Hey, sure you should be moving around so much? Where are you going? I heard that they never found Murga, so that's what I'm going to do. I think she deserves to know that someone's thinking of her and make sure she's okay. Same old Lilac. Can't you be little Miss Hero Pants some other time? <laughs> Not a chance. Besides, this might be my only chance to find out more about the water dragons. And maybe even something about my parents. Cool. I gotta stay and make sure my sister does alright. Mila and Scary Lady have got their own things going on too. You gonna be okay by yourself? Of course. Even a falling spaceship isn't enough to stop a dragon. <laughs> Fair enough. Catch you later, Lilac. Catch you later, Carol.
Gentry. Hello again, love. It's me, Cordelia. I pray that you'll hear these words somehow, because it will mean that you've been freed from your crystal prison. I know that this isn't all we'd hoped for, and I'm so sorry. What happened to the water dragons was a travesty, and the passage of time has not been kind to their memory. I wish I could be there with you right now. We had so much ahead of us, but I hope that no matter what happens, you'll find your own happiness. And who knows, perhaps we'll even be together again. Someday. But for now, my work isn't over. Not yet. End entry.